New news headlines this hour. Red ants forcefully remove illegal land occupants at Parkmore Santon. New eye jump area opens at Santon City, perfect for sports, trampolines and health activities. Boston Media House netball team known as the Giants won 43-20 against Boston City Campus, also known as Black Ants. The Red Ants forcefully remove illegal occupants that have started demarcating their own land at the community of Parkmore and Santon. These illegal occupants are Alexandra residents who say they've been promised land by the government since 1994 and until this day they have not delivered on their promise. Kaudeng government spokesperson has said that this land is earmarked for a government project. Nonzwagazi Ramaube has more details of the story. She's reporting live from Parkmore, Santon. Good day, Nonzakazi. What's the current situation there? Absolutely good day to you, Malefa, in studio and to all our viewers at home. Today we are indeed in Senton and we are talking land invasions. Well, as you can see, people have already occupied this land for themselves and they are not interested in anything else but to build homes for themselves. They also say that they've collected names of over 600 people who need this land as a matter of urgency. So right here with me is one of the occupants. Good day, sir. Legai? Good day. So you do acknowledge that this is land invasion? No, 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 this is not land invasion. I'm getting it off. Since 1994, we've been waiting on, on the government to give us land. He hasn't even given us land, even today. So I'm telling you, the best thing to do is take this land without compensation. Yeah, that's, yeah, you have to take it. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, sir. And um, I have another one here with me. So if you guys plan are planning on taking land illegally, where do you plan on taking electricity and water from? Well, it's really easy. We can just bridge from the pipes, I mean the, the posts. We can bridge from the posts. And since we're from the rural areas, we know how to pump our own. We know how to pump our own water from the ground. So it's not, it's, not, it's not something difficult. We can handle that ourselves. Thank you so much. Well, as you can hear, these people are adamant that they are not leaving this land. Even the red ants came here and removed them, tried to re remove them forcefully. It from me. My name is Nanzo Azaramaube. This is the Urban News. Back to you, Malefa, in studio. That was Nonzo Gazi Ramaube updating us about the matter in Parkmore. Welcome to iJump, the general jumping area, foam pits and trampolines. Wall to wall make this a perfect sport for any fitness freak who knows that physical activity is good for their health. Now, trampoline packs like this are safer than ever and a definite go-to-go -go place for kids and adults who want to have a nostalgic over their childhood trampolines. iJump is a perfect place for the whole family. It is family-friendly fun and is suitable for kids, teams and even grandparents. Regardless of their fitness levels, there really is something for everyone. Studies have shown that 10 minutes on a trampoline is equivalent to 30 minutes on a treadmill. Cardiovascular fitness. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to turn up like this, this is a place for you. This is real trampoline experience. If you don't know what to do on weekends and looking for something new and fun, give this trampoline arena a chance. It's different and it's something new. It's a workout at the same time. Jump for fun. Jump for life. Boston netball team celebrated the Nelson Mandela 100 Years Champions League by playing against each other. Boston Media House won 43-20 against Boston City Campus and will play neighboring Varsity College in the finals. Spiro and Lapo filed this report.
In sports today, Boston Media House has played a successful match as they won 48 against Boston City Campus, which was able to gain 20 goals in the previous Nelson Mandela Champions League. Moreover, that placed Boston Media House in the first position of the Nelson Mandela Champions League. Um, I'm very happy about the game. It was a very fair game. And before this, we were very nervous, but then I'm just happy that we won and it was a very nice game. The other team was <clears throat> but, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was okay. Boston players has both confirmed that it was a fair and successful game they ever played. Although City Campus gave them a hard challenge and they promised to their supporters that they will bring the Nelson Mandela Champions League Cup home. It's confirmed that the next final match will take place in Santon Stadium Friday at 2 p.m. playing against each other is Boston Media House and Varsity College. Recapping your news headlines, red ants forcefully remove illegal land occupants at Parkmore Santon. New eye jump area opens at Santon.